Hello. Hey. Welcome to Netflix and Chill. I'm back. Welcome back to a throwback episode of Netflix and, and Chill, Chill with Minkyo and Natalie. Yay! So we're back for an online virtual episode of Netflix and Chill with our original co-host, Natalie yes. Brunini. So what movie are we watching today? We are watching I'm Thinking of Ending Things, which was recommended by a viewer. Shout out to Aurea. <laughs> Thank you, Aria, for the recommendation. She actually said that she hasn't watched it, but she's seen like a lot of people debate about it. So, Aria, I hope this makes you watch it. Or not, depending on how we like the movie. I heard that it's supposed to be like, I can't think of the director's name right now, but his films are kind of like English teacher's dream, where it's just filled with so many like symbols and motifs and all of that. I also heard it's based on a book. Oh, I know that. Natalie and I have created a Netflix watch party link. Yes, we are. And we are about to watch it in sync from Hinsdale, Illinois to Greencastle, Indiana. So let's get on with the movie. Like you figured it out. Maybe it isn't logical. You know, maybe it's like an experimental film. If people are analyzing it, there has to be something that's going on. And I don't know what that is. Uh, dig in the, the chat though. Yeah. I think I think the chat is really fun on the on the Netflix party. I like want it to be over simply so I can go and Google what I'm watching. Okay, if the movie ends and it's like not satisfactory, I might be so angry. Oh, I will be so angry. It's not going to be, we just have to accept it. Right, okay. One more hour and then hopefully we'll have some more answers. We'll see what We're happens. We've for an hour and 15 minutes, so it's kind of crazy. All right, All right. you got the chat. <laughs> about the movie. Our initial thoughts are, what the f One, beautiful cinematography. Oh, incredible. So pretty, Beautiful. so well done. Unmatched. Just gave off strong... Like art film vibes. Yes. Yeah. Two, it started off so strong. Really dug the characters and there's weird things happening, but it was so like well woven into the film. It didn't seem out of sorts, but then as the film progressed, it got a little bit too out there for me to the point where like my brain literally did not comprehend. It was just like one thing after another and it kept going on and on and on and I think it happened so quickly too. Very conceptual. We looked up the analysis so we found out like yeah. what it's about. It still doesn't make sense to me though. So many like symbols and stuff that you wanted to like be able to put together. Right. So would you say you would recommend it to a friend? If someone asked me for a movie recommendation, I would never go to this film. But if someone asked me about the film, then I wouldn't say not to watch it. I'd say like, it's a very conceptual yeah. film. It's strange. It's not like narrative story driven, but it's interesting and it's beautifully done. So if you're interested in like weird film and experimental film, then I definitely say it's worth watching. We both appreciate the aesthetics of it. In conclusion, I don't know. Yeah. No, except for the director. But does he even know? I, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. All the scenes themselves were good, but like cohesively, I just, I don't know. I guess yeah. I just didn't get it. I feel like you nailed it with that. 
I'm so happy to have you back on our show. I miss you. I miss you. I loved it. Thank you for inviting me. Of it was course. So great to, um, to relive my college days. Bye, Don't say bye. TV. Bye, Larry. Bye, Minkyo. Bye, Nat. Bye. Bye. Right, see ya.